We are standing in front or across the street from 11 Wall Street, which was the original, uh, which uh, is a building, a huge building that eventually would become part of Citibank or Citigroup. Uh, uh, sugar and baking uh, merchants, uh, Moses Taylor, uh, who had a big sugar plantation, a series of sugar plantations in Cuba that was uh, created and, and worked on by African slaves. Uh, he profited from that. He was able to build his business and Citigroup off of the slave trade, uh, which I find interesting. And Citibank, Citigroup eventually evolved from this building. And what's right on the other side of this building is the stock exchange, which also African slaves were the first people uh, that were actually commodities, African slaves and cotton that were sold at the stock exchange. And I'm hoping all of these people realize that. So it didn't just start in 2008 that we started Occupy Wall Street. It started, you know, in the slave trade. Uh, it started when these banks started getting super greedy, taking advantage of people uh, and taking uh, advantages of cities and the entire economy. So greed and corruption has been around for hundreds of years. Wall Street was also built uh, by the slaves to protect the colonists from the native people. And people need to understand that as well, as you know the history of this, of this, uh, of this great city. So we're standing here today because this is one of the too big to fail. This eventually, uh, you know, was created, uh, turned into one of the too big to fail banks, Citigroup, Citibank. And there's a lot of history behind that, a lot of history of this place is tied, again, to the African slave trade. So people need to understand that as they take these pictures and go around. So. Occupy Wall Street. That's why we're here.